It's November, so I'm looking at some Game Boy Color games. Today's game, LEGO Racers. I actually had this one on the PC back in the day, and I used to really like it when I was a kid. And even today, I still kind of find it decently enjoyable, so I was slightly excited to see if this one would be any good. Essentially, it's a racing game where you can create your own character and car. The creation process here is extremely limited, but it does have a slight effect on how your car looks in-game, so that's something. As for the racing itself, you pretty much drive straight forwards while steering. The colored bricks you find are power-ups, while the white bricks are upgrades for the other power-ups. The races are set up in a Grand Prix style, so you finish races and win points depending on how well you do. And if you have the most points after three races, then you win, and you move on to the next circuit. The game controls are fine enough, I guess, but the gameplay is very simple, and the races just go on for way too long, to be honest, because it often takes three to four minutes just to finish a race, and they get boring by the time you finish a single lap, let alone three of them. Also, the music repeats a lot, so that doesn't help. Another issue is the power-ups. They come at you so quickly that it's practically impossible to react in time, you just kind of have to keep going straight and hope that one just happens to run into you. Also, the speed boosts are pretty overpowered here. I swear, sometimes these boosts last for like 10 seconds. Just one of those is enough to completely leave everyone else behind. Overall, there's really not a ton to say about this one, other than it's a simple, underwhelming racing game with races that are way too long and boring, and you'll probably get bored of it pretty quickly. I do kind of like how it's like you get some character customization, but not a ton of them. I wouldn't really say you should go out and play this one, but it's also not completely horrible.